get by It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a beach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Live from the Sweet and Snack Show Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. Uh, we're here live at Sweet Snack Show. I'm here with the founder of Snow, Kenny, and uh, really I'm holding the watermelon. Uh, talk about the origin of the product. Uh, so the origin is xylitol. It's a natural sweetener that's extracted from birch bark. That's what we use. Uh, lots of benefits. Full of can help a lot of people, and. Uh, that's kind of where we got started and really the source and base for the candy itself. What are some of the benefits? Uh, some of the benefits, it looks like sugar, tastes like sugar, identical in sweetness to sugar, 40% fewer calories, has less carbohydrates, uh, is diabetic friendly, uh, stimulates salivary glands so your mouth starts watering like crazy when you're eating it, and uh, also creates endothermia, so it's literally absorbing the heat of your mouth into the piece of candy, which leaves you with this kind of really cool, refreshed feeling as you're eating it. So some of the flavors and most popular flavors? Yeah, as far as popularity, peppermint, number one, sell a ton of peppermint. Uh, regarding fruit flavors, number one seller, uh, watermelon. Lemon sells very well. Uh, black cherry, really trendy right now, very popular also. So uh, when you go into the lab and you're concocting new flavors, yeah. talk about your process. Yeah, so originally started the company in my parents' kitchen on a stove top. So I was basically boiling uh, raw xylitol and accidentally figured out how to make these candies and packaged 60,000 of them by hand. Wow. Pouring them out into a cookie sheet, get a tenderizer, literally breaking them up, and then, uh, yeah, package them all by hand and shrink wrap the whole thing. 60,000, yes. Yes. <laughs> so what possessed you to try and start boiling this stuff in the first place? Um, it was such a unique sweetener. Just the name xylitol really stuck with me. And I looked into it a little bit more, realized all the benefits of it. And we're kind of thinking if we can create a product that would appeal to the masses at a price point uh, that was kind of beneficial and not really segregating anybody, I feel like we could help a lot of people out. So everything is in a micro climate of sugar free. And if we can create a product that's sugar free at a price that uh, people will be attracted to, I, I think we really have something here. So this is beautiful packaging, great name. What did their original packaging look like? Yeah, so the original packaging was just an Altoid shaped tin. It was just rectangular. You couldn't see how cool the product was inside and we had 19 flavors. We wanted to be the 19. 19. We wanted to be the jelly belly of, of uh, sugar-free candy, right? So a lot of the early years was educating myself and listening to consumers and retailers in terms of what worked, what didn't, what flavors they liked. And based on their feedback, we went back to the drawing board. We brought on uh, an incredible designer who went into the consumer psychology and created a custom tin. So it's a custom hexagon mold. Uh, we have a patent pending on the design, put a window in it, so now the conversation really starts on the store shelf. Mm. Customers always stop, look at the packaging itself, one, being a hexagon, and two, you can now see the candy inside in all different shapes and sizes. So a lot of work went into this thing. Yes, more work than we have time to explain. <laughs> What's the website? Uh, website is snowflakescandy.com. Wow. So it's a great name. How'd you decide on snow? Yeah, so Snowflakes Candy, sort of the marketing behind it is like real snowflakes, no two pieces of candy are ever the same size or shape. Yeah. So customers can pick out big, small, thick, thin, whatever they want at that exact moment in time. But going back to the marketing and the new packaging, we wanted customers to be able to see the brand rather than having to read the brand. So we shortened the name down to Snow, S-N-O, 
and the birthplace of xylitol uh, is actually Finland in the Nordic region. So S-N-O is actually Norwegian for snow. So that's kind of uh, how it all ties together and the birch of the tin and, and the story behind it. So where can people buy it? Uh, so these are actually brand new. We are shipping in, in about uh, six weeks. So uh, Lamar Distribution and hy V picked us up, so they'll be available through the Midwest uh, and available through Kehi. So any retailer that's interested can purchase it through them for the time being, in addition to our own website and uh, other third-party e-commerce. Okay. So people could also go on the website? Through our website, they can order directly uh, and also Amazon. Everybody loves free uh, two-day yeah. shipping, right? Yes, yeah, so one day actually. <laughs> or one day, very yeah, true. Yeah, um, and so I want to talk about two things, mm -hmm. challenges mm -hmm. and then proud moments. Yeah. What's been some challenges? Huge challenges. Uh, number one was the manufacturing of it. Uh, a lot of manufacturers. So you went from the kitchen to yeah. what, were, what was the evolution of the manufacturing for you? So my very first order when I was making out of my kitchen was for 4,000 units. And at that point in time, I had no idea what I was still doing. So that was an extreme challenge, uh, really scaling up. And uh, we got to the point where we maxed out the kitchen capacity and moved into a, a co-manufacturer. But it was an evolution of 18 months. We went through 75 different companies in uh, about five different countries and nobody could make it. A lot of them wanted just to plug and like, plug. Oh, I'm gonna have to do 60,000 yeah, more in my kitchen. All by hand, <laughs> yeah, exactly right. So that was one of the biggest challenges to date, was really finding a manufacturer that was malleable in the sense that they understood the vision and the product, but also had the manufacturing capacity and equipment uh, to really grow with us and create a product that was so unique. So that was an enormous challenge. 75 of them, that's a lot. Um, yeah. What about proud moments so far? Uh, finding the manufacturer. <laughs> I, uh, I'm man enough to tell you I probably cried that day when I found the manufacturer. It just opens <laughs> up so many doors, you know, being able to uh, manufacture out of an SQF2 facility and have the capacity to scale. Nobody's interested in bringing on a company or brand that can't fulfill orders. So that was an extremely proud moment. And uh, I would say recently would also be the packaging, uh, yeah. bringing it out, introducing it here, sweets and snacks for the very first time, getting people's reaction. Half the people that come by are more interested in the packaging and don't even care what's in it. Really? So yeah, it's, that's also been a really proud moment is introducing this as well, right. especially considering the amount of time that went into it. Yeah. So snowflakecandy.com? Snowflakescandy.com. Snowflakescandy.com. Check it out. Delicious. Thank you. Appreciate you. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the same advice.